Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going on a tour of the engine room. So uh, before we start the video today uh, I just want to say the engine room is a very noisy place uh, so my apologies for the loud noises in today's video. Anyway I hope you enjoy today's video. The engine room is made up of five main areas. The main engine, the generator room, the engine control room, the purifier room, and the engine room workshop. Each area has its own specialized purpose and has a member of the engine room department assigned to its maintenance. So no matter which angle you look at the engine from, it's almost impossible to comprehend the sheer size of the engine room. From here we can see only the top half of the main engine. So let's go down and have a look at it. As you can see the engine is a very noisy place. And we can see quite clearly six individual cylinders. One, two, three, four, five and six. Up the top here we have a hydraulic pipe controlling the exhaust valve for the cylinder. Underneath it here we have two fuel oil injectors coming up each side of the main engine. We can see this on every single cylinder. Coming back a little bit and here we have a fuel oil pump. The main engine on most cargo ships is a slow speed diesel. It has been determined that this is the most efficient and cost effective engine type for such ships. The nature of the design of the slow speed diesel requires that it be up to four storeys in height and as such the engine room must be very large and roomy. It is common for these engines to be made up of six or more cylinders which can be observed visually from above the main engine. The pistons inside the cylinders can be more than 6 metres in length and over 1 metre in diameter. The running and maintenance of the main engine is the responsibility of the second engineer. The main engine is connected directly with the ship's propeller by a huge propeller shaft running through the lowest level of the engine room. So as we come around further, we can see the exhaust expansion chamber. And we can see the ship turbocharger and the exhaust pipe leading all the way out to the funnel. In here we have the purifier room. The purifier room consists of a series of purifiers. These continuously filter out the impurities in the fuel oil and the lube oil of the main engine and generators. This allows engine oil to have a substantially increased lifespan, occasionally outlasting the life of the ship. Due to the huge quantities of oil required to keep these engines running, it is generally more cost effective to purify the lube oil rather than replace it. As we head down to the next deck, we start to get an idea of absolute scale of the engine. And only from this angle can we get a real sense of just how big the engine room really is. On the next deck, here we find the main engine control. So if for any reason we're unable to control the ship's speed from the bridge, it can be controlled directly from the engine right here. Control the that's slow, slow, uh, full, navigation full. Here we can see the main engine telegraph, a knob to go from a head to a stern. From down here on the bottom plates we can see the main engine casing behind me. And we can see the six manholes to enter into the base of each cylinder. So let's take a look. It's almost impossible to imagine. But here behind me at the back of the ship is the ship's propeller, a huge six metres in diameter, spanning all the way from here, right across to here. The propeller is connected by a huge propeller shaft that runs all the way down the centre of the ship here, and all the way running all the way down in here, all the way up to the flywheel. 
Prior to departure, we checked the turning of the engine by connecting the flywheel to an electric turning gear. The full rotation of the flywheel indicates a full rotation of the main engine. It's just impossible at any angle to really comprehend the scale of this ship. From here we can see all the way to the top. So here's the main engine casing all the way up the cylinder shaft. All the way right up there we can see the ejectors right up the top. The generator room, depending on the auxiliary power demands of the vessel, is made up of a number of high output generators and where possible, an additional smaller generator for use when high power output is not required. On this ship, it consists of three equally sized medium speed diesel generators, which are used to supply all the ship's power needs. While the use of only one generator is needed at most times, the additional power draw of the ship's cargo cranes and electric bow thruster require the engineers to run two or sometimes all three generators at the same time. The running and maintenance of the ship's generators is the responsibility of the third engineer. Hey, on and on. Ah, perfect timing. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Renato. Our uh, local fitter, he can make absolutely anything. The engine room workshop is where all the repairs of the engine room components are made. Parts can be fabricated, refurbished or repaired here. The engine room workshop includes a workbench, welding bay, metal lathe, drill press and a series of other general and specialised tools for the maintenance of the ship's engine. The engine control room, as suggested by its name, is a cool air-conditioned space designated for engineers to monitor and control the ship's engine, as well as the generators. All of the ship's switchboards and circuitry run through here, and from here the chief engineer can comfortably monitor the performance of the engine room. There is also remote operation and switchable alarms to the main engine located here. Hey guys, that's it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the engine room. As always, if you have any comments or questions, don't forget to drop them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe above or below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as it helps YouTube to promote the video to more people just like you. Thanks again guys, and I'll see you in the next video.